Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Illusion Fox Gaming. Today we're doing the quest Unfinished Business. Sukikage is ready to talk trade. Ah, how lucky am I am to have caught you. I'd like to open up negotiations with Mistress Kikumo, but members of the Confederacy are not exactly welcome in Kugane. You, however, are not subject to the same constraints as us. And I would ask that you deliver a letter to her on my behalf. If you'd kindly accompany me to our guardroom just atop those stairs, I can give it to you right now. In the meantime, I shall go and take care of our honest merchant friends. I hope you work, you work your usual magic and bring us back some more good news. I'll see what I can do. Can't make a lot of guarantees on anything, but we can always try. Enclosing this envelope is a paper that outlines all of our conditions and preferences. If there's anything Mr. Kigma would like to amend or add, assure her that the Confederacy is open to negotiations. And we gotta go back over here. At least this time uh, we got the uh, Ethernet. You're returned. What brings you back so soon? Ah, yes. Let me have a look. This is a deal I can hardly say no to. Tell M Master uh, Tsukakage that we will fully agree to the conditions outlined in this letter. Assuming he's willing, I'd also like, like to ask him to obtain certain items for us besides those listed here. We'd have, we would, of course, compensate him accordingly. There are a plethora of luxury goods that can only be attained in the Ruby Sea. Since the Imperials have begun placing the embargoes, a lot of these things have become difficult to acquire. Here, I've prepared a contract for Master Tsukakage to review and sign. Please see that it makes it to him. As always, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I'm glad to see you are returned. How did the meeting with Mistress Kikimo go? According to this contract, she has agreed to all of our terms regarding the loot and has even offered us an opportunity to earn extra coin. This, my friend, is what I'd call a job well done. Now let us see. On the side, she would have us procure the shell of a decade-old turtle, teardrop pearls, and soaring shark fins. Hmm, all these are expensive commodities that cannot be obtained in Kagane or anyone outside of the Ruby Sea. For that matter, Mistress Kikimo certainly knows how to play her cards. Chief, I'll go and get them for you. Fair to just off her, Hansaku, but sending you to search for everything alone will take far too much time. Let us divide the work. You can retrieve the soaring shark fins. I will find the turtle shell, and Suzume, you secure the teardrop pearls. Understood. I shall make for Shoal Rock right away. There he goes again. He ran off without even bothering to confirm how many fins would, would have him bring back. The man is completely incompetent. There's no need to be so hard on him, Suzume. Well, perhaps a touch overzealous, he is simply looking to prove his worth to us. It's only natural thing as he narrowly escaped death at the hands of his former shipmates. Each and every one of us here comes from a similarly difficult past. I do not see why we should treat him any different. An interesting notion has just struck me. We have the reason our dear Hansoku is so enthusiastic about procuring items... 
It's because he did his attempt to avoid something, or rather, someone. He avoided the fake merchants who were members of his former crew. Indeed, he has been rather skittish of late, and it would explain why he did not escort illusion to us when they first met. Coming face to face with your former crew under the best of circumstances can be trying. When you hold a blade to their throat and force them to pay the tithe, well then, you become a marked man for life. This is so, Hansaku was once shipmates with those, those lowlifes. Suzume, what's wrong? You are starting to turn pale. No, no nothing, sir. No, nothing is wrong, sir. I'm simply disgusted that one of our very own, however insignificant to our organization they might be, said dealings with such vulgar men. I, I must be going now if I am to gather our teardrop pearls. Hmm, I wonder what's gotten into Suzume. Whatever Hansaku's past, he is a confederate now. Besides, we tied stones around his ex crewmates' necks and threw them into the sea. I didn't really see no reason for her to be so upset. So is this mystery best solved later. Please do me a favor and go check on Hansaku for me, will you? Boy's not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer and has a tendency to land himself in trouble. Well, I don't actually have to go that far. Faster if I could fly. I think we only have, what, one more quest to do for that? That is one big ass soaring shark. I think the comment you came when you did. I was about to be fish food. So the chief saves me from certain death yet again. Somehow I always manage to bungle up every job I'm given. What a complete and utter fool I am. Well, I suppose all that matters in the end is that we obtained the fins. I shall return to headquarters and inform the others. I'll meet you back there. I'm glad you made it back. Hansaku told us everything. Thank you. It seems my fears were warranted. These fins, they, were, they are all in near perfect condition. They will no doubt surpass even Mistress Kikimo's high expectations. Now that we have everything, let us deliver the goods to our client without any further ado. I shall prepare one of our ships and begin stocking it then. Very good, Suzume. Although she tries to hide it, Suzume is far less cheerful than usual. Is she alright, I wonder? She's probably just exhausted from her search for pearls. 
Chief, members of the Confessor are barred from entering the port city. How exactly are we supposed to meet with our client? That is a good question. Maybe an intermediary is required. But that was the quest Unfinished Business. Hopefully we'll see you again either for another video here on YouTube or maybe one of our many streams over on Twitch where we stream uh, pretty much nightly. Uh, till next time though, have a wonderful rest of your day.